Bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. Oh, bloody hell. This bucket's why there's no dead to collect lately. Introducing the Wound Care Bucket by Refuge Medical. With this bucket, you will never die again. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about the Refuge Medical Wound Care Bucket, which is basically a field hospital inside of a bucket. So if you wanted to round out your preparedness when it comes to first aid, and you wanted to be able to deal with a long-term situation where medical care would not be accessible, this wound care bucket gives you just about everything you would need to open up a clinic in your own home. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is actually get into the bucket, pull everything out, and just show you guys what's inside and why what they're doing over there at Refuge Medical is so awesome for preparedness. And obviously, I am affiliated over there with Bear Independent and Refuge Medical because I want to help them out and spread the word about the products they're trying to bring to both you and I when it comes to your preparedness, especially in the realm of first aid. They also offer awesome training courses on first aid. So if you go to their website, refugemedical.com, use the code MAGIC, you get 10% off. It's awesome, okay? But this wound care bucket is something they sent to me to share with all of you so that we could take a look and kind of see if it's worth having in your inventory. And honestly, having a field hospital in a bucket that you could leave at a bug out location, have at your home, keep in a vehicle, whatever it might be, even have it for your shooting range gear. There's a lot of application here for something you might want to have in the sense of being able to take care of wounds in any kind of emergency situation. So let's get into the bucket, see what's inside, and just kind of give you an idea of whether or not it's something that you could find useful. All right, so here we have the wound care bucket. Just so you're aware, this doesn't have medication or antibiotics or anything of that nature. This is specifically to deal with injuries and wounds that occur during a long-term scenario where there might not be medical help. So keep that in mind, and these wound care buckets have additional options that you can choose when it comes to selecting one that best fits your needs. And this is the card that was sent to me with this one that shows it has the seven and a quarter inch North American Rescue Shears, the 76 piece advanced surgical kit and the military surgical kit as well as options that were included here that you can decide whether or not they're important for your needs. So I just wanted to share that with you and let's open this up. And if you've ever opened pickles or a giant bucket of sour cream before, you're very used to how this is all gonna work. And when it comes to you, there's a sealed band around the lid. So this thing is sealed tight and you can keep it that way if you want, instead of having to get into here if you already know what it is that's inside that you might need, or if you just get more than one, you can keep the other one sealed and mess around with the one that you have, okay? So, get rid of the lid. And obviously this goes really well with your food buckets. So it just kind of fits the whole nature of preparedness. Inside is gonna be insane amounts of gauze and that is <laughs> what a lot of this bucket's going to be but that's the thing when it comes to dressing wounds you have to change the dressings regularly keep the area clean and try to avoid infection and like i said there's no antibiotics or anything like that in here the whole point is to treat wounds and injuries without the use of medication there is antibiotic ointment but obviously we're not talking about ingestibles at this point so just want to go ahead and start pulling this out Huge amounts of five by nine inch abdominal pads, okay? Then we have, let's see, another stack of woven gauze sponges. These are two by two inches. Let's see, more and more gauze. You can kind of see we have rolled gauze here as well as more pads. These are conforming stretch gauze bandages that are inside of here. Looks like they're two by 75 inches, all right? And here is where you're gonna have your triple, triple antibiotic ointment as well as some tape. Of course, you're gonna to have to have a way to apply some of this gauze to whatever area is affected. So this is also very important. Let's see, probably more gauze. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a guess here. But yes, woven gauze sponges. These are the uh, four by four inch squares. And this is just a reminder that this is for long-term without medical aid situations. So you're gonna need lots and lots of gauze. It's not about just filling the bucket with as much gauze as humanly possible. It's because all of these are gonna to have to be changed regularly if they ever become needed. So that's why you need so much of it. But these are the extra absorbent abdominal pads. And let's see, each pad is eight by 10 inches. And you can see there's, there's tons over here. There's tons of tons of value in this bucket. Uh, 
All right, looks like we have some Band-Aids here, and these are just good old-fashioned Band-Aids, which you will probably need a ton of. There's many different sizes, and that's good because you never know what you're going to get in the sense of a boo-boo, but at the same time, um, things can be annoying and uncomfortable and still need to be guarded and taken care of properly or else infection can spread. So you need regular bandages as well. Let's see here. And some more gauze because you still literally cannot have enough. And this is more of the woven gauze sponges, the three inch by three inch size. So you have tons of size varieties and tons of different application varieties in the sense of rolled gauze, gauze sponges. And it's just so that you have the options for treating whatever it is that you might need to treat. Okay, let's see here. Moving forward, I'm gonna start just kind of pulling stuff out so I can use two hands here to kind of show you. Here are the rescue shears. Obviously this is important to be able to get clothing off and there's a lot of other applications with you know, cutting the gauze or the tape or whatever else you might need to use. So you gotta have some solid shears, okay? Then let's see, right here, we have the surgical instruments kit for minor surgery. Now this could be very important depending on what you're dealing with in the sense of a wound. So let's go ahead and open this up. And obviously inside you have all the tools you can think of that you might not be comfortable with or even able to use necessarily, but it has everything you could need. And if you have some expertise or you have someone in your group with expertise, here's some extra sterilizing and um, towelettes and everything else that's in here in order to try to you know, keep the area clean. But this is all stuff you may need even if you're not comfortable with it. So keep that in mind. And getting training is extremely important when it comes to this stuff so that you know exactly what each tool is for and you know what it is um, in the sense of a wound that you'll be looking for in order to you know, need to use this kit, but it has a lot in here that you may or may not need. This is all dependent on your situation. Like I said, this is an additional add-on, but this is the kind of stuff that you're not gonna be able to just find randomly in an SHTF scenario. So keep that in mind. And obviously, the more training you get, the more useful these tools, tools will become, okay? And I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it out there right now. I'm hoping not to have to do surgery of any kind on anyone ever, but I am looking for additional training in this department just in case that ever becomes a reality. So having the tools is extremely important because without them, even if you have the skills, you're not gonna be able to accomplish your goal. All right, so moving on from there, some of the basics. We have 70% isopropyl alcohol. You gotta have that for cleaning wounds and just keeping areas sanitized. You gotta have the hydrogen peroxide, another way to clean wounds. And you know, especially if you have kids, it's a lot easier to utilize things like hydrogen peroxide to keep things clean. It doesn't hurt as bad as alcohol. It's a little bit more of a, uh, uh, an easier treatment for people who can't handle pain as well. Just keep that in mind. Um, and then we obviously, let's see, we have Ready Prep here, which is your iodine solution, peroxide iodine. And, or no wait, uh, Povidone iodine, okay, or whatever, provolone. It might be a cheese of some sort. I hope you know I'm being sarcastic. But what I'm trying to say is that this is more prep, especially if you have to find yourself cutting into someone. You're gonna need this in order to prep that area to keep it as clean and as sanitary as humanly possible because infection is a huge killer in any emergency situation. Any time there's been a natural disaster or a conflict or any situation where lots and lots of people are getting injured on a regular basis, Infection is usually what takes those people out. So you really have to keep stuff like this in mind and why it's so important to have, okay? And then the last thing here in the bucket is a copious amount of gloves. And you gotta have tons and tons of disposable gloves because just like the name, they are disposable and you do have to get rid of them after each use. So you gotta make sure you have a lot. Now, that's it. And of course the bucket itself can become its own type of tool if need be, maybe a biohazard disposal container or whatever else you might need to use it for. But at the end of the day, this whole kit right here can get you by in any kind of a long-term SHTF scenario, at least if you're in a situation without the medical care you would usually be able to get. And this is huge to be able to have all of these supplies at the ready for any type of wound treatment that might come your way. And of course, I always suggest having additional IFACs and things of that nature, blowout kits that have some of the stuff like the quick clot and everything else that might be more applicable for some kind of a extreme immediate wound situation, especially involving something like a gunshot. So these are things that are very important and this is all stuff that you could utilize in the sense of like a field hospital. So having a bucket like this at your bug out location, at your home, at your shooting range, at anywhere you might be that you think medical access is going to be limited, this could be a huge game changer for you and your family and anybody else you care about keeping alive. So 
Hopefully you got some good ideas about what comes in this. Hopefully you understand the utility of having something like this wherever you could be. The fact that it comes in a bucket makes it very impervious to things like pests and it makes it easy to store and it's not gonna get water in it. And there's a lot of other benefits to that as well. But this is an awesome concept in my opinion from Refuge Medical. So like I said in the beginning, make sure you go to refugemedical.com, use the code MAGIC for 10% off and hopefully get yourself more prepared in the sense of medical supplies. This is the stuff that disappeared a year and a half ago from the shelves. Getting a pack of gloves like this a year and a half ago would have been nearly impossible. So keep these things in mind because this is the stuff that's gonna be really hard to get if things get worse and worse. And the supply chain's not getting any better. So the fact that Refuge Medical is able to provide this kind of stuff for you right now means that now is probably the time to get what you need before it's too late. So wanted to bring this to your attention. I think it's awesome. Make sure you check out Bear Independent over here on YouTube as well. I'll go ahead and link his channel up here so you can check that out. But he is obviously a driving force in the sense of making sure that people have what they need in the sense of medical preparedness for their individual needs. And I don't know if I can say those same words three or four more times in any other fashion, but I will try my best. Hopefully this is uh, good information for you. Hopefully this is a product that might be pertinent to what you might need in the future. And if you have any questions about it, you can go to magicpepper.com as well and send me a contact form and I'll get back to you as best I can. But hopefully these are things we never actually need. But you gotta believe that if you ever do and you don't have them, you're gonna wish you did. That's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.